two AL Central rivals. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Cleveland Indians. You're watching 2K Sports. A bat that's full of hits. Grady Sizemore carries it, and he'll be doing that in our game. The Cleveland Indians, their fans, rabbit, and lots of them here at Progressive Field. I'm Gary Thorne, along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. We'll see Aaron Laffey on the mound. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, the one thing about Aaron Laffey we know is he's a competitor. He doesn't have overpowering stuff, but he does have the courage to throw it over the plate. But in the past, base on balls have haunted him. He needs to throw more strikes to be effective. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting report, John. How about some picks? Well, one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. And it's Johnny Damon. He's the game's first batter, and we're ready to get things started. Fielder number 18, Johnny Damon. Here it comes. Swung on, liner to right. And he's on. First batter up. That could be a good sign offensively. Now we'll take a quick look at the Indians, Chicago how they line up on the field. Highlight, Steve, for these fielders. Gary, one of the highlights for this defense is Shin Su Chu in the outfield. He can run the ball down and gets it in quickly with a very strong arm. Putt shot towards the hole. Now well, Alexi Ramirez's the season Chicago so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Third most in hits, fourth in batting average, and the power numbers there as well. He's also ranked in the top five in home runs, so among the more elite power hitters in the league. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. Well, lost last night for the Indians. They want to even this three-game series here today, try and give themselves a chance to break the tie in game three against the White Sox. Well, anytime you're struggling, you could still play 500 ball. That's a good thing. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear down, and work his way out of this jam, and keep the score tied. On the way. Hit sharply towards the hole. And Quinton's got himself a base hit. Now batting, a brief moment to see who's atop the top league batting-wise brought to you by State Farm. I mean, look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. Sinker swung on, missed 0-1. Can you say ground ball? That's what that sinker down of the zone is meant to do. Oh, strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. They threw him that slider right there. Got him to swing a little bit early. Oh. Got to be a little more patient with that pitch. A smash to first. Out at the plate. And they get it. They turn two. Well, they load the bases on the strike with three base hits, but no run. First look at the Cleveland Bats. Pitching, it'll be John Danks. He's going to start for Chicago. Johnny faces these Cleveland hitters. What do you think he's focusing on? Well, not many guys this young in their career pitch so many big games, but John Danks is one of them. He's a dominant pitcher who could be a top of the rotation guy, a 200 inning pitcher. He has a great fastball and a great breaking ball, and he has nothing but a bright future. One away. That's an atom ball right there. That ball was smoke. He stung it, but right at the second base. The pitch, ground ball towards second. Beckham. Bill Cabrera is set down. Line up for the Indians. We'll take a look, courtesy of Pepsi. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? On acrobatic shortstop. That's what you're going to see with that Drupal Cabrera. But don't let the athleticism at shortstop fool you. He can hot shot towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. No scoring here, ending this half inning. 
Nothing doing for either side. Scoring. And Alex Rios to lead off. A big part of the offense in last night's game with four hits. They'd love to see it again today. Rios. That's hit foul by Rios. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. A well, good movement on that cutter. He had him way out on his front foot. This one's grounded hard up the middle. From his knees, got him. What a throw. Once he made that stop, he was going to have to make a throw in a hurry, and he did. Well, look how quickly he gets the ball to the throwing hand. That was the key for the out. Going to be Brzezinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. One out, faces him. The grounder to Peralta. And so Pierzynski retired. And Mark Tiana. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. Here's the pitch. Fastball swung out of miss, 0 and 1. Hit hard on the ground towards third. And that'll put Tien on first. Coming so Jim, tell me coming up. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chances of scoring a run seem pretty scarce. But they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. Right there in the top five in home runs. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. This is bounced foul to the left side. Here's the delivery. He can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. You still got the shutout here at. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. 0-1 pitch, a fastball, swung out and missed, 0-2. And, and it holds at 0-2. And the cut fastball's in there, strike three, one away. A oh, pretty healthy break, 88 Number mile three. per hour breaking ball. Johnny, he fed him a fastball on that last pitch, John, and then locked him up with movement to finish him off. But did he ever? That was a great sequence. Show him the heat and then drop one right in on him the next pitch. And Johnny Peralta in. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. And it'll be Val Buena standing in the hip. Danks gets set and delivers. Back up. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So John Danks gets him free up. Quick look at Isaac Ian looking up. He's watched some great deliveries on the mound. Struggling bats, though, important now to get the offense stinging. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on and hit. This one to Sizemore. One away. Here's the Central Division race with September just around the corner. Looking at the State Farm standings board. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. In the fourth spot, it's the Twins. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. Back up the middle. And that one is in there, his second hit today. The and that'll bring up Polk and Urko. Struck out swinging last time. One down, runner at first. Oh, 
Swings and misses the good change right there on one. I've got to have some confidence in this one. Three hits in the game last night. Must be seeing the ball well. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right out of that 0 Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. Well, that's what you want is efficiency. You always want to try to retire a hitter on three pitches or less. If he can get it with the strikeout, you'll take that too. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. The leading the league in home run. Nice work. That's Aaron Laffey. No runs allowed through three. He'll go to the bottom of the third. Bradley's in the box. Left fielder, number 23, Michael Bradley. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Over to Canerco. That's one away. He could make a video on how to build his position. He gets over, makes it look easy. Solid fundamentals. Out at first base. Brazavon into the batter's box. Liner towards the hole. And Conerco makes the catch. And now we've got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank wise in the American League. Third in triples, fifth in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're in the top 10 in hits. An offense that can at least put the ball in play and find a way to get runners on base. It's going to be Rice now. Danks gets set and Great delivers. Ball. Called strike on the outside corner, 0 1. He deals. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And there's Quentin for out number three. Only five pitches to get out of that inning. None under the maniac there. The skipper that's happy not to have given up any runs yet, but watching for that opportunity for his offense to get on the board. And Beckham's in the box. He's got a 292 average when going up against the Indians. Here's one hit very well deep. And it's off the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning, and that's exactly what he did with that double. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Here's the pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit for Rios. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. It's going to be Przinski. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And that's a strike. A.J. Przinski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Uh, Gary's been doing a nice job of kind of dancing out there on the mound. He's had some base runners out there, but able to make pitches and let the defense make plays behind him. So he's done a nice job pitching out of trouble. And here's Martian. And one of the top ten averages right now. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Now it's two away. And the runners hold at the corners. This is the list of the production for the month. The RBI leaders, courtesy of State Farm. Well, these are the kind of guys that decide games right here. They thrive on situations with runners on base to come up and deliver, and they have been getting it done. And Jim Tomey. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. A fly ball. Foul ball. He just couldn't keep it fair. The pitch, and that's a strike. Tomei's going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Hit hard to second. And he throws on the first. That'll retire the side. Aaron Laffey coming off the mound. And for those
those of you catching up with us, hi. I'm Gary Thorne, along with John Craig and Steve Phillips, bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Brady Sizemore up. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. All the way to the wall. There's the throw. No luck beating him to second. He is in there. A great patience at the plate. He's the guy that always seems to find a way to get on base and be in the middle of this offense. And the first pitch. First pitch is a big curveball in there. 0 and 1. I'll tell you what, four hits in a ball game last night. He really must be locked in. And it's caught by Ramirez. And he holds the runner at second. We go now to a list of pitching staffs who have been stellar for the last 10 days. State Farm, our leaderboard. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Rays. Third, the Mariners. Rangers, fourth. Oh, Sizemore. Here we go. The throw. And he's in there at third. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. Rios will field. Sizemore is trying for the plate. And Sizemore comes home. Chew into the batter's box. Offense, when you get it, it doesn't matter what part of the game it is. Well, they've got themselves something to build on. Lined up the middle. Back up. Throws on to first side is retired. Things wake up a bit here. First run of the game. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. And the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. And he can't run it down. And it's up against the wall. Pulls into second with that double. So he's in scoring position now with nobody out. Alexi well, this is just Aguirre. a good piece of hitting right here. No out starting the inning, and you're on and you're put yourself in scoring position. That's big. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five on the way. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez gonna have to protect now. Swing and a miss. Three strikes on Alexei Ramirez is set down. Here's the slider coming right at you in KK. Get a better look at that. Paul Canarco to the plate, runner in scoring position. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Well, there is one down here. You got a man on second base, going to give up the uh, pass, maybe try for two. Uh, a hit here scores the man on second, so obviously they're going to look for the double play. Quinton. Up next, Carlos Quinton. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch to Quinton. Can't wait long enough for that one, and he starts out with a strike. Well, outstanding pitching effort so far here. I mean, he's left three runners on base in this game, I mean, but he's just shutting down this lineup, and when he needs to make a pitch, he seems to always find a way to do it. You're well, out. Carlos Quinton does not pull the trigger on that pitch, and that's going to be strike three. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if he can find his way out of this with the lead intact. First pitch to him. The fish for that one. Nothing and one. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run and the single and double, but unfortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. And he's there to retire the side. So they pick up no runs. One hit. And Johnny Peralta to lead it off. Rounded out last time. Number three, Johnny. Here's the pitch to Peralta. That's a good pitch from Danks. It's in there. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. And good eye there by Johnny Peralta to even the count. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he'll step on first for out number one. Second base. Number one. And it'll be Baldwena standing in to hit. Ground out victim last time through. Thanks gets set and delivers. Line drive. Beckham able to pull that one out. And Bradley's in the box. Nothing yet in four ABs against the White Sox. 
And the first pitch. Fastball in there. 0 and 1. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Now 0 and 2. Danks with some pitches to play with. And he looks at a fastball that's in there. Side retire. No runs, no hits, no one left on. Indians won, the White Sox nothing. And welcome to For those of you just White tuning Sox. in, 2K Sports, Fielder, Major League Baseball. This is Gary Thorne Alex along with Steve Phillips Rios. and John Crook. And Alex Rios to lead off in the top ten in hits. And here's the first one. Now swinging a shot toward second. He's one away. The White Sox number one. The Angels in second. Third, the Mariners. Fourth, the Jays. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, some tough lineups right here to pitch against because a lot of power threats throughout the course of these lineups. And they look for a pitch they can drive. And when they get it, they can take the deep. Hot shot towards the hole. So Krasinski retired. And Mark T into bat. Great season, top ten in RBI. Base is empty with two outs. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a smash. It's up against the wall on a bounce. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Well, you know, he's feeling pretty good about himself right now. He's generating the first opportunity here with two outs to put up a run on this inning following his double. Swing shoots this one towards the gap, right center. It rolls all the way to the wall. There's the throw, and they score the run. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out. The guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Johnny Damon looking to light things up here right now, Gary. Well, it is happening now. It may be a little late, but then again, they've got momentum, Steve. Well, he came up big in that critical situation, Gary. Good at bat right there. Now he's tied it up. Line towards second. This one into the alleyway should be extra bases. He throws. He scores, counted, and no longer time. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. So now the Pepsi WPA graph will show us the difference that run batted in made. RBI situation, Alexei Ramirez. Offensive production. Boy, does that look good as you move along later into a ball game, and they've got a lead. Here we just saw a big hit right there, and it points out how critical it is at this time of the game to have somebody can step up to get the job done in a clutch situation. And now it comes down to can their bullpen hold this lead? A swing and a miss. Alexei Ramirez is retired. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Brazabon in the batter's box. Designated hitter. Number 19, Patrick Brazabon. Here's the first pitch. Doesn't make contact on that Danks pitch. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. 0 oh, 1. Good hard cutter in for a called strike. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. And Ramirez fields the ball over to Canerco. One away. Number 65. It's going to be Rice now. Blew out last time. And here's the first one. Ground ball towards the second baseman. And he throws the first in time on number two. Well, Gary, he's pitching well. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And Grady Sizemore up. Hit sharply towards the hole. Beckham throws to first in time. That's three down. Three up, three down this half inning. 
Taking account of the ball game, there's Oz again. Just inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Looking for the ground ball out, trying to get the hitter to roll over on it. Throws that sinker on the outside corner. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone. Well, as a hitter, if you're looking for something off speed, you don't swing at anything hard. But that's what he did. He wasn't expecting that speed, and he swung late. You're out. Struck him out. That's number eight in the game. Good pitch right at the knees there. He swung right over the top of it and just couldn't put it to play. The pitch. That ball is in a long way deep into right center field. Way back there. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. And it'll be Jensen Lewis doing the pitch. He's coming on in relief for the Indians. Pretty good performance today by the starter. All in all, pretty solid outing. Now it's up to the pen. White Sox lead expanding here. Gary, they just keep getting big hits. Hot shot towards the hole. And that one's through for a base hit. Second hit in the game. 500 today. And on the State Farm leaderboard, we have a look at the best on base percentages around the league. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners. And these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and leave your run score. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Gone, a two run homer. Now, up to now the a four the run Chicago ball White game. Sox. They just doubled their That's lead on that one. Well, AJ, uh, Gary, this Virginia. offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. And they can't cut it off. It'll roll to the wall. Be sure to tune in again this Saturday. It'll be Carlos Beltran and the New York Mets. They will make their next trip to Chicago to face the Cubs. Game time is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 Pacific. And Saul Rivera is the pitcher. He's coming on in relief for the Indians. Mark Tian looking to knock in a run. How's he doing? Well, lifetime, 307 off Cleveland. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Rivera gets him to swing and miss for a strike. Well, you know in this situation right here that the hitter's always going to look for a fact. Hit sharply towards the hole. He's and out. he steps on first. That's the second out. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to scoring. Two outs and a runner on third. Swing and a drive, deep left center. It's off the wall and left center. And Pierzynski comes in. Oh, this offense, every opportunity they get, they manufacture something out of it. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. Damon watches it for a strike. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And it gets through for him again. Guess you expect that today. He's got a four-hit game. And he's in there. Now, he talked about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Boy, this lineup is just pushing the pitching right now. It's tough to get anybody out. Well, as you can see, they're just pouring. Putt shot towards the hole. Well, Alexi Ramirez's now, season so far, let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. The guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. And he starts Canerco out. Rivera gets him to swing and miss for a strike. 
Well, he threw him the cutter right there, and it looked like he was trying to chase that one. Be patient, young man. It'll get there. And he struck him out. The side is finally retired. Not before they tally five times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. As Drupal Cabrera leading it off. Shortstop, number 13, Astrubal Cabrera. And he starts Cabrera out. And he takes one in there, own one. Okay, with this big lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to hit sharply towards the hole. And out number one as he steps on the base. It's going to be Laporta now. Last time off, he drove in a run with a sack fly. One out, nobody on. Takes a call, it's strike one. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Swing and a foul straight back. Fastball in there. Struck him out. Out number two. Here's the four seam fastball coming at you in KK. Number 17. Well, with two strikes on the hitter, he went with the heat. I tell you what, a fastball in the low 90s still very, very effective. First pitch. Swing and a miss on the cutter. 0 and 1. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. And that swung on and hit. Rios. That one gets down for a base hit. It's going to bring up Johnny Peralta. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. And the way he went after that in the box, Steven, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Hit up the middle. And it's through. Credit Peralta, base hit. Fielded by Ramirez. He is safe at third base ahead of that play. Now Cleveland, here's the chance they want. But a pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted. But you see this runner, man, once he left the box, he is flying and he beats this one out. Swing and a miss. He was late trying to get around on that one and one. He watches one at the knees and it's one and two. Well, he missed his spot with that one and got away with it. You want to go to the corners with that four-seam fastball. He found the heart of the plate, but didn't cost him anything. John Danks comes off the mound, pitching deep into the ball game, and uh, it's working with the lead. And it'll be the White Sox. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Clark and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Rivera with a delivery, and that's by him 0 and 1. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. He got that slider in the strike zone. He got the hitter out in front to swing early. This one's hit pretty well to right, but it's going to be out of play. Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. Take cam registers this at 86 miles per hour. Some pretty good break. Fantastic piece of pitching to get that out there. Well, that's the part of pitching you love. He's looking for a fastball. He's expecting a fastball. And then just drop one right off the table. What a pitch. Line drive. Two retired here. Speed plays a big part in it. Let's take a look at our State Farm leaderboard in triples. I'll tell you what, Speed puts so much pressure on the defense. And these guys can certainly do that as they force the other team to quickly make decisions and make plays and try to shut down a running game. And he starts Rios out. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. Gone a home run. Remarkable. They now lead by seven with that solo shot. Well, obviously two big guys locked in in this lineup here. Three home runs between them. 
It's going to be Brzezinski. AJ Brzezinski. And he can't make contact with Rivera's delivery. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one to Sizemore. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. The White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And Brantley's in the box. 0 for 2 thus far. Number 23, Michael Brantley. Danks gets set and delivers. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. You're and out. the cut fastball's in there. Strike three, one away. But check out the movement on this on KK. Clocks in at 85 miles per hour. Brazabon into the batter's box. He bounced out his last time. Cutter just misses. 1-0. Uh, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Rios will field as he holds it in. Here's what the White Sox schedule looks like. Tomorrow they wrap up this Cleveland series. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. That's going to get going on Friday night. That's a team that's been really putting it all together lately. Quite a bit of time away from home for for them over these next several games. Two outs and nobody on. And here's the first one. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now great work by the pitcher. And here's oh, Mike Tien leading it up. Well, it's always nice to have a defensive replacement coming off the bench and holding a lead or holding a deficit and giving yourself a chance to win. Now he needs to come up with a big play. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. And Kearns gets to it. Now State Fire brings you the extra base hit leaders for this month. And Jim Tomey. He doubled in his last appearance. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. Nobody on base. One away. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Hit hard on the ground to short. Two away. Oh, we've got Chris Perez out on the mound. He's been chosen to take over out there. Johnny gets going here against these White Sox bats. What are you expecting? Well, pitcher that's trying to find his way in the big leagues, Chris Perez. He has yet to establish himself as either a dominant closer or a middle guy. He's basically a one inning pitcher, but when he comes in, look for the radar gun to get lit up because he can get it up there in the high 90s. Hot shot towards the hole. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. Nothing doing here in this half inning. The White Sox eight, Cleveland one. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. Good look here at the manager Manny Axel. Trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. There's a strike from Danks, now 0-1. I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean, you've down a ton, so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. Swings at that 1-1 pitch. Fastball by him. Strike two. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And it remains one and two. Hit on the ground towards second. Back up. Over to Canerco. One away now. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Hit sharply towards the hole. And they got to him in time to tag him up. Number seven. 
It's going to be Laporta now, wearing the collar thus far. Danks gets set and delivers. And he gets this one by him on one. Boy, that good late movement down, that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. Swung on grounder, this might be it. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Fans going home unhappy in this one. Their offense just did not get it done as the opposing pitching just shut them down. Wow. And about that time, we present our Pepsi Clutch performer, definitely a difference maker in this one, John Danks. Well, you know, Gary, he made just that one mistake, but that doesn't tarnish the shine of this performance today. And I'll tell you what, a manager absolutely loves it when he doesn't have to go to the bullpen. He can give those guys a day off, and it makes them stronger for the remainder of the season. But I tell you, this guy was throwing strikes today, and it was an easy decision to keep him in the game. When you take to the road, Steve, any win will do. But when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also...